So let's talk about making a basic report. And first we have to pull the data in. This is the start page that you see when you first go into Crystal Reports. So I'm going to come over here and pick on a blank report. We're going to use some of those other wizards in future lessons of this course. So I'll pick on the word blank report. And then you get this window. So you're going to uh, pick your data each time you make a different report. Now, if you've already selected data for previous reports, then those connections will be under the My Connections tab there. Okay. But we're going to expand where it says Create New Connection. And you're going to see that Crystal Reports can work with many different types of data. Now, some of the older uh, data types can be found under Database Files. So if I expand that, then if you click on this pull down, you'll, think, you'll see things like the older Excel files, XML, uh, XBase, like DBF, Paradox, and the older Access files. Okay, so the way we got there was on this window, I expanded the database files. Notice how there's other ones like uh, Java Beans, JDBC, OData. Now, ODBC can be a way to connect to your ODBC data, uh, data sources. If I click on the plus sign here next to ODBC, then these are the ODBC connections that either you or your IT team would set up for that computer. So I'll try to use those in a couple minutes. Uh, we have one for SQL Server, for example, through the ODBC. So any ODBC database should work as long as you have the ODBC driver connected for that. And you or your IT team can set that up. Notice how we also have Salesforce, SAP data. And then if you expand where it says more data sources, then you see things like ACT. Uh, we see JD Edwards. Uh, we see Oracle, Outlook and others in there as well. So you can see that Crystal Reports can handle many different types of data. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to a category that's called OLEDB and I'll pick in the plus sign there. And then you'll see the newer versions of Access. And by the way, that's how you get to the newer versions of Excel as well. And there's other ones in this one as well. So I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to pick on Microsoft Office 12.0 Access Database Engine, and I'll pick on Next. And now you can point to an Access Database or even an Excel spreadsheet. See, if I click on this pull down, it does say Access or Excel. This is the newer style Access and Excel files. So I'll pick in the uh, three dots for the data source. And in this case, I'll go to a specific folder. And then I'll use an Access Database here. So I'll pick on this one and I'll pick on Open. And then I'll make sure I pick on Access here. If that database has a username and password, you would put that in here. So I'll pick in the word Next. And I'll pick in the word Finish. Now notice how it has that database there and then I can pull in from the different tables. Now, if I wanted to use an Excel spreadsheet, then once again, I'm going to expand where it says OLEDB and I'll double click where it says make new connection and I'm back to this window. I'm still going to use the access database and I'll pick on next, but notice on this window, this time I'll pick on Excel. Then I'll pick in the three dots and then I can point to an Excel file and that is going to be the newer style Excel file. I'll pick on open. Again, if that database, if that Excel spreadsheet has a username and password, you would put that in here. I'll pick on next and I'll pick on finish. So if we look what happened here, here's the Excel spreadsheet. And these are all the sheets within that workbook. Here's the access database and here's the tables of that database. So let's try that connection with the ODBC. So I'm going to expand the ODBC again. And these are the ODBC drivers that you or your IT team uh, would have installed in your computer. 
So I'll pick on uh, SQL, that's for SQL Server on my computer here, and I'll pick on Next. Then again, if that has a, a username and password, you would put that in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the password. I'll pick on Finish. And let's see if it did connect to that. And it did. So that helped us get started connecting to either an ODBC data source. Under OLEDB, you'll find access and even Excel. There's the Excel spreadsheet. And you can see there's many more data sources that you can use uh, using Crystal Reports. Now, by the way, your reports can come from uh, all your different data sources. Uh, Crystal Reports pretty much neutralizes the data. Crystal Reports doesn't care where the data comes from. You can make your reports actually from your various data sources. But now though, uh, now we're gonna continue on and we're gonna use, let's say the customers table from the Access Database. I'll pick on customers and I'll pick on the uh, arrow. Now the table is gonna be over here on the right hand side. Pretty soon, We'll make a report that will use more than one table, but that's what's going to start with the one table. And like I said, the various tables can even come from the various data sources. In this case, I'll click OK. And now you'll be on the main screen where you're going to make your crystal report.